Step number one, a horizontal force of 200 newton is needed to pull a 50 kilogram box across the horizontal floor at a constant speed. What is the coefficient of friction between the floor and the box? To start with, we have to identify first the given and the free body diagram. So if I have here my free body diagram, I have here the component. We have 200 newton as our applied force. And we also have a uh, 50 kilogram. So if this box is 50 kilograms, in order for us to convert that into weight, we have to multiply it by 9.8 meter per second square. And then therefore, that is 400 new 490 newton. That is the weight of that box. Next, we also have this component. We have the normal force. And then we also have the frictional force. Now, for our problem, we are required for the coefficient of friction. And we all know that this coefficient of friction is unitless simply because we have to cancel the uh, newton as its unit when we have that formula now uh, our equation is frictional force is equals to coefficient of friction multiplied to the normal force and uh, since we are looking for the coefficient of static friction, we can say that it is a force divided by the frictional force divided by the normal force. Now, we also have to write the sum of all the forces in horizontal direction or sum of fx. And that is F up. We have here the F up. And then we also have the frictional force. So that is minus, since that is in opposite direction. And the other one, that is summation of all the uh, component forces in the Y component is equals to uh, we have the normal force and the weight. So we have the positive normal force minus, because it's downward, the weight. Now, let's go to our solution. For the solution, we could simply plug in the values of all the f of x. Summation of effects. Now, we have to take note that in our problem, we have to look at this term, which is constant speed. And we all know if it is constant speed, we define it in Newton's lower in the sum of all the forces in balance. So therefore, the sum of all the forces is zero. So, the sum of all the forces in the x direction, or the horizontal direction, is also zero. Now, we can simply have zero, and the value of the f up is 200 newton, minus the frictional force that we don't know. So, from this equation, we could simply derive force is equals to 200 newton now how about the summation of fy is equals to n minus w since in a vertical direction it is not moving up or down we could simply say that this is zero equals the normal force which is uh, automatic 490 newton 
and minus the weight, which is 490 newton. So we can simply say that it is balanced. Where in fact, we can say mathematically that 490 newton is just equal to 490 newton. This normal force is just equal to the weight. Now, uh, why do we need to get the summation of Fy? Because we simply need to have the normal force. And upon looking at our equation, we have here the normal force. Now, so let's continue. Since coefficient of friction is frictional force divided by the normal force, we can say that uh, 200 newton divided by the normal force, which is 490 newton. And then therefore, our answer is 0.5918. Now, upon looking on our problem, we have three significant figures. So we simply need to round this off to three significant figures, and that is 0.592. Since uh, the coefficient of static friction, coefficient of friction, you can simply uh, cancel out the newton as their unit, therefore it is a unitless value. So our final answer would be 0.592. So let's start with our dynamics problem set number 2. A 400 newton object is to be given with an acceleration of 1.25 meter per second square. How large an unbalanced force must act upon it if the coefficient of friction is 0.50? So we have to draw our given first in the diagram. So we have here the F up or the F applied which is basically uh, the required in our problem. And we all know that it is force, therefore the unit we expect is Newton. Another thing, we have also the frictional force. And uh, it is a 400 Newton object. So if that is a 400 Newton object, we can say that the weight is given and that is 400 Newton. But what is the mass? The mass of that object is simply 400 divided by 9.8 meter per second square. And that is... 40.816 kilograms. And then since we have also the weight, we have also the normal force component. Since that is uh, horizontal, therefore, the normal force is 400 newton. Weight is just equal to the normal force. Now, what is our equation? The equation that we have is simply, number one, we have the frictional force is equals to uh, coefficient of friction multiplied to the normal force. Oh, we forgot. We have to take note of the given. The coefficient of friction is 0.50 and the acceleration is 1.25 meter per second square and then we could also have the sum of all the forces in the x component and that is f up minus the frictional force and since the summation of fx we're dealing about uh dynamics so meaning to say it has an acceleration therefore we could say that it is moving in a horizontal direction. So we have the summation of fx equals to mass multiplied to acceleration in a horizontal direction. And therefore, we could say in our formula for this, 
we could have mass multiplied to the acceleration horizontal is equals to F applied minus the frictional force. Now, so we could also say that uh, the summation of all the forces in the y direction, that is the normal force minus the weight. And just what we did in our last problem, we have 0 is equals to 400 newton minus 400 newton. It just indicates that we are not moving in a vertical direction, so therefore the sum of all the forces there is 0. But we have to take note that the normal force that we have is 400 newton. So let's go now to our uh, solution. We have to compute first for the frictional force. So the frictional force we have is equal to coefficient of friction, and that is 0.50, multiplied to the normal force, which is 400 newton, and 0.50 multiplied to 400 newton is 200 newton. And we could now simply have this sum of Fx, and that is mass multiplied to the value of acceleration. The value of our mass is uh, 4 point. The value of the mass here is 4, the value of the mass here is 40.816 kilograms multiplied to the acceleration, which is 1.25 meter per second square and then we have also the F up minus the friction so we have the F up minus the value of friction which is 200 Newton and then multiplying 4.816 by 1.25 meter per second square, that will result to 51.02 newton. And then we could transfer this 200 newton to the other side, plus 200 newton equals to F up. So therefore, the force that is being applied is 251.02 Newton. So the final answer that we're going to have is expressed in the least significant figure. And the least significant figure is in two significant figure. Therefore, the final answer is 250 Newton. Dynamics problem set number 3. A 50 kilogram box is slid along the floor by a 400 newton force. The coefficient of friction between the box and the floor is 0.70 when the box is sliding. Find the acceleration of the box. So first, we have to do again the force body diagram. And we have here the F up applied component in the x direction, so we can label it as the f up x, but since uh, we only have a uh, horizontal direction, we can simply have f up, and that is 400 newton. Another one, we could have this free body diagram wherein we have the friction, but the given here is uh, 0.70 as our coefficient of friction 
And then, we also have 50 kilogram box as the mass. And we have to get the weight. And the weight is 50 kilograms multiplied to 9.8 meter per second square. And that is 490 newton. So we could have the Fg or the weight which is 400 newton, 490 newton. And we have also the normal force. And the normal force, since that is just horizontal, we have 490 newton up. And uh, what is the required here? The required here is the acceleration. And the unit for acceleration is meter per second square. Now, let's go to our equation. Again, we have this frictional force equals to coefficient of static friction multiplied to the normal force. We also have the sum of all the f in the x direction, and that is the f up, minus the frictional force. We also have uh, summation of forces in the x direction equals to mass multiplied to acceleration the horizontal direction of f equals to max. And, uh, of course, we have here the summation of Fy, which is the normal force minus the weight. And take note that the important value here is the normal force, which is 490 newton. And then we could now proceed to our solution. We have the mass multiplied to acceleration. So we have the mass max equals to F up minus F. Mass here is 50 kilograms multiplied to AX, which we don't know. And the F up here is uh, 400, not 400 Newton minus the frictional force. But what is the value of the frictional force? We don't know. But we have a hint here wherein the frictional force equals to coefficient of static friction 0.70 multiplied to four hundred uh, normal force which is 490 newton. And pressing that in calculator we have 343 newton. By doing so we have now our frictional force which is 343 newton. And 400 minus 343 that is 57 newton and then we have here 50 kilograms multiplied to ax to get the ax divide both sides by 50 kilograms so we have 57 newton divided by 50 kilograms and we have here 1.14 meter per second square and our final answer here now is uh, we have to take note that we have to get uh, one significant figure because uh, 50 here has one significant figure. And then therefore, the final answer that we should have is 1 meter per second square. Let's discuss now our problem number four. A 60 kilogram box is pulled by 500 newton force at an angle 40 degree to the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.50. Find the acceleration of the box. We have first to draw our free body diagram. And we have to take note of its component. So the first given that we have is 500 newton at a 40 degree angle and this is the F up but we have to take note that we also have these values which is known as the F up in the horizontal component which is the F up X and we also have the F up Y. Now, 
how to solve for the f of x. We all know that it is, since it is in a horizontal direction and it is an angle at 40 degree, we can solve it by using cosine of 40 degree multiplied to 500 and that may, and that may be equal to 383.022 newton so the value of this is 383.022 now, how about for the f up y? For the f up y, we will use the sine function, which is sine 40 degree multiplied to 500 newton. And then therefore, it is equal to 321.394 newton. So the value here for the f up y is 321.394. Now, take note that we also have other component such as we have the weight. The weight is simply 60 kilograms times 9.8 meter per second square and that is equal to 588 newton we also have the component which is the normal force and we also have the component which is the frictional force now what is the required what we are looking in our problem is the acceleration of the box. So we get the acceleration. And uh, we also have to take note that one of the given is the kinetic friction, which is at point 0.50. Now, how about our working equation? Since we have the kinetic friction, which is 0.50, we are expected to have this formula. Friction is equals to kinetic multiplied to the normal force. And we can also write the summation of all the F in the X component, which is the F up x minus the friction and since it is dynamic it is accelerating horizontally in a horizontal position so we have the summation of fx equals to mass multiplied to acceleration in the horizontal position then we have also to take note the summation of all the vertical forces which is the normal force minus the weight plus the F up in the Y direction. So let's do now our equation. So since summation of Fx and we have here the summation of Fx, they are just equal by the use of transitive property. We can say that the max is equals to f up x minus f. Now, the first problem that we need to resolve is the normal force. Because we cannot compute for the frictional force if we don't have the normal force. So we need to use this sum of all the vertical forces so since it is not moving up and down the summation of fy0 next 
the value of the normal forces we don't know but we know the weight right now that is around 588 newton plus the value of the force in the y direction and that is around 300 26.394 Newton. So adding it up, it would become uh, normal force minus 556.606. Transferring this to the other side, therefore, the normal force equals to 556.06. Now, this value can be plugged in into this equation. So the kinetic of friction is 0.50, and the neutral, uh, sorry, and the normal force is 556.606. Newton. Therefore, the value of the frictional force is 278.303. Now, since we are now looking for this acceleration, we can take note that we have the following values. We have the values for the mass. We also have the values for the F up X. And we also have the value for the friction. So by substituting, we could have what is the mass? 60 kilogram multiplied to AX and the value of our F up in the X direction that is 383.022 Newton and minus the friction which is 278.303 so doing this solution, we could have 383 minus 0.022 minus 278.303. We have 104.719 Newton. And then we could have 60 kilograms times the AX. Therefore, the minimum Therefore, the acceleration of that box is 104.719 divided by uh, the mass, which is 60 kilograms. And then, therefore, that is 1.7453 meter per second square. Since it just only have... Uh, one unit, which uh, is just only have one significant figure, we have to round it off to one significant figure, and that is around two meter per second square. So the final answer is two meter per second square. Let's have our sample problem number five. A force of 300 Newton pushes a 40 kilogram box. Starting from rest, the box achieves a velocity of 4 meter per second in a time of 2.5 seconds. Find the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the floor. Again, we have to do the free body diagram for us to identify the given. The first thing that we need to understand here is the direction of the applied force. So, we have uh, 300 
newton at 50 degree this uh, angle which is at 50 degree will indicate that the force applied will always have the x component and the y component now let's try to look first for the y component for the y component we have to take note that the direction of the y component or the direction of the push is downward so we have here the f up y for the f up y we simply need to get the sine of 50 degree multiplied to 300 newton and the value of the f up y is 229.813 newton next how about the direction of the force applied with respect to x-axis? Now, if we're going to view it, the direction of that force is going here, going to the right side. So, where can we draw it properly? To draw it properly, we have to take notes that it's going on the rightward direction. We could say that the force applied is drawn like this. So F up X. And how to get the F up X? That is cosine of 50 degree multiplied to 300 Newton. And that would give an amount of 192.836 newton now how about the other component the other component is the normal force and the frictional force so we could draw the normal force like this. So I use a different color for us to differentiate it and see it clearly. So we have here the normal force. And we also have the weight. Now, what is the value of weight? For the value of weight, we could have the mass multiplied to gravity and the mass is uh, 40 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square and therefore we have the weight which is equal to 392 newton. And then we also need to have this F or the friction, the small letter F, which is going here. Now, this F up Y, which I draw like this, it can be drawn like this. Now, therefore, what is the correct free body diagram? The correct free body, free body diagram will show like this. So we have here the F up X. Next, we also have here the F up Y. We also have here the weight. We also have here the normal force, and we also have here the 
friction. Now, we have to take note also that in the given, we have the value of acceleration. But instead of acceleration, they give velocity and time. But remember, acceleration is defined as velocity divided by time. So therefore, the acceleration that is being given, that is 4 meter per second divided by the time, which is 2.5 seconds, and then therefore, the value of acceleration is 1.6 meter per second square. Now, let's go now to our working equation. Oh, by the way, what is the required? The required here is the coefficient of kinetic friction. Now, let's go now to our equation. For the equation, we need again to write that the formula for the friction is equals to coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied to the normal force. And then therefore, the formula for coefficient of kinetic friction, that is, the friction divided by the normal force. And we need to consider also the other summation, which is the summation, summation of all the fx values is equals to what are this component we have the force applied x minus friction and since it is moving in a horizontal direction we could say that the summation of force is equals to mass multiplied to horizontal acceleration now, how about the other component, which is the vertical component? For the ver vertical component, we need to have summation of Fy is equals to what are this component? We have the normal force, we have the negative weight, and then we also have the negative F applied Y. Since the F, the summation of Y is not moving upward and downward, the value of this is zero. The value of the normal force is, we don't know. But what is the value of W? The, double, the value of the uh, weight is 392 Newton. minus the value of the F up Y, which is the 229.813 Newton. So, we have to simply add this negative 392 Newton minus 229.813 Newton, and the value of the normal force is... 621.813 Newton. Next, since we are looking for the uh, coefficient of kinetic friction, we need to get the value of the frictional force. By the way, uh, we all just had already solved the value of the normal force. Now, for the summation of all the fx, since the summation of all fx equals to max and the summation of fx equals to uh, applied force in the x direction minus f, we can always say by the use of transitive property that the mass multiplied to acceleration is equals to f up x minus f by substituting the value 
the value of the mass is 40 times the acceleration which is around uh, 1.6 meter per second And then the value of the F applied X is 192.83 Newton minus the uh, frictional force, which is we don't know yet. But we could say that 40 multiplied to 1.6, that would become 64 Newton. And then we have here 1.92.83 Newton. Therefore, what is now the value of the frictional force? Frictional force equals to 192.83 Newton. Minus 64 Newton. And then, upon subtracting that, we can say that the value of A is 128.863 Newton. Now, what is the formula? Formula is simply F over N is equals to coefficient of friction. And then, therefore... The value of the F, which is 128.86 Newton, divided by the value of the normal force, which is 621.813 Newton, And then therefore, upon solving, we could simply get that the answer is 0 0.2072. And since that is unitless, that will remain as the answer. But we have to round it off into one significant figure. Because although this one has two significant, two significant, this one has only one significant figure, we can round it off to one significant figure. So, point to 1, that is unitless. And this is the value for the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the floor.